Border Collies are easily trained Here dogs. Come. With me, with me, lie down. Good girl. Especially when Look. it comes to herding. We sat down with this dog's owner. Well, today we're with one of my cutest interview guests ever. Annie, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about little Tate here who works for you. She does. I'm pretty much just the chauffeur. Tate's does all the work. <laughs> the work hurting geese. <laughs> Annie, the owner of a goose control company. It's crazy weird, right? Well, I moved here in 2008 when the state put out a request for proposals for someone to help take care of their goose problem. So for years, it had been a plaguing problem, not necessarily the geese, but the droppings that they leave behind. Um, the state is very strict about water quality testing in the swimming areas, and they want, obviously, picnic areas and beaches to be clean of goose droppings. So they had been really plagued by this problem that had been nagging them. And they had tried noisemakers and decoys and remote control boats to no avail. So the Border Collie solution had existed for quite some time. Uh, it was a brainchild of a man on a golf course who first used a lab to chase some geese. Um, but Border Collies really proved themselves in the industry because they're workaholics and they just have a herding instinct that works really well on the geese. The opportunity for her was ideal. I was a Border Collie lover, so that was my attraction. And this is a new line of work for a, an old working breed of dogs. And I wanted to do something different when I was turning 30. So I jumped ship on Corporate America and met a man who was looking for someone to join his team, and that was me. Usually a job starts behind the wheel of her car. I would imagine a lot of this job would be doing this, driving around and looking to see where they're nesting, right? Absolutely. You be, we, you're, we become a goose detective. We're always looking. So <laughs> looking from the car to see if we can see anything out on the grass. And if we do, then that's when we release the hounds, so to speak. <laughs> Once they are released, getting them to do their job, not hard. Well, most dogs want to chase. So the biggest key to a successful goose dog is a stellar recall. So we do a lot of recall work to get the dogs to come back. So getting them to chase is easy. It's getting them to come back. That's sometimes hard. The dog's not the only ones being trained. So geese are really smart. And they, if you think about how they migrate, they migrate to the same place every year. They nest in the same place every year. They mate for life. So they have really strong family bonds and tendencies to become attached to the places that they love. So it's real, they're really smart um, and so they're trainable. So the dogs through persistent and consistent regular visits really train the geese that the places that they're being chased from are not safe for them to sit and hang out. So the dogs come, we come two or three times a day. The dogs just run after them. There's no barking or biting or it's not a three ring circus. It's highly controlled. The dogs really just send a message to the geese that they're not wanted in these places where they keep being bothered. So the dogs train the geese. And the dogs love going to work. Interesting, the dogs start to know when we're at a park, they could be laying down in the back of the car and when we pull in, they'll pick their heads up. And so they sort of get trained up to know the places where they've been working. So the geese get trained and the dogs are, they, they know, they see the geese and they just know. And they also will see a duck out there and know not to chase a duck. So it's interesting how the sound of the geese and um, the, the way they lock their size are all sort of keys to the dog that that's where their work is. In fact, Annie's surrounded by coworkers loving the gig. My six-year-old son has become my right-hand man and he loves to be a skipper on the boat. He loves to handle the dogs and he just loves to come to the parks to play, so. He's huge. Oh, look, there they are, they're asleep. Oh, they see us. This unique job, a natural solution for an ongoing problem. This is a green solution to a nagging problem. It's not lethal, there's no chemicals. It's all great for the environment. It's great for the parks, it's great for the dogs, and it's great for people to watch. So it's really a win-win for everybody involved.